Good evening. Good night. Hello, good evening, Mary. How are you? Very good. Excellent. Hey, Mary, is that Monica, Teacher. your friend? Teacher is Monica. Oh, yeah, I, I was watching to her. I was, I was like, maybe it's that Monica. <laughs> Welcome, Monica. All right, let's see. Welcome everybody to today's class. Let me just write down some things on my agenda and I will back with you. I will be back with you. Just let me write down something on my agenda and we are going to start the class, right? All right, everyone. So welcome to today's class. As always, it's a pleasure to see you. I'm happy to see you because I know that you are making a big effort to being here. So we may start now. Listen, I have noticed something and I'm a little worried about it. When sometimes when I ask you, how are you? Some of you said things like, I'm fine or I'm good, thank you. But others, they stay quiet. They don't tell me any. So I was wondering, how are you doing with feelings? Do you know how to answer like things like, I'm tired, I'm happy, I'm sad. ¿Cómo vamos con los feelings? ¿Ya los han visto anteriormente? Los feelings son sentimientos o emociones. Pueden decirme con confianza, porque así puedo, puedo retroalimentar ese tema yo. Así no, no. Lo que yo notaba es que a veces les digo, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? En inglés. Y hay, algunos sí me contestan y otros no. Entonces yo quiero saber, ¿será que sería bueno que retroalimentemos ese tema? Para ver cómo. Ajá, Mary. Eh, sí, sí, teacher, mejor retroalimentar eso, porque no más que. Muy bien. Ajá. Mm, no vamos a pasar de lo mismo. Sí, a veces no estamos felices <risa> y queremos decirlo. Pero es lo único que podemos decir. Muy <risa> good, Mary. Ajá, Carla de Hernández. Sí, una, me parece bien retroalimentar esa, esa parte porque hay unas cosas que, bueno, en, en, a manera personal hace mucho tiempo las vi y ya no las recuerdo muy bien. Exactly, yes, very good. Yo siento que. Uh, es súper importante porque es nuestras emociones, cómo nos expresamos. Yo tengo entendido que algunos de ustedes trabajan y andan cansados, no toda la vida me van a decir happy teacher, happy, <risa> right? Pueden que a veces quieran expresar mi estoy cansada, mi tengo sueño, or something else, right? So, we're going to see that topic next class. Ahorita solo quería chequear eh, cómo estamos con esa información y así lo retroalimento la próxima clase. All right, everyone, good to see you. Let me share with you my PPT. So there you have it. Tuesday, August 31st, in class number six. We are still in section two. Where are you from, All right? But today, if God help us, we are going to go to section three, all right? So let's check this one. Now, this is practice for you, my dear students. Right now, I don't have questions for you, but I do have practice. Number one, create one sentence using this, all right? On your notebooks, create one sentence using this. Only that, no more than that. Only number one. This is my example. This is myself, right? Pretty basic. And don't tell me, please make sure not to tell me the same examples that you gave me last class, because I remember, all right? So try to change them.
Have you finished? Finish, Miss. Excellent. William, thank you very much. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Finish. Right. Very good. Now that some of you have finished, let's see. Tell me, Mary, what's your sentence using this? There's are my pants. Uy, let's see. Creo que se le me, se, se interpuso otro audio. Repeat again, Mary. That these are my pants. Ah, with this one, Mary. This, this, this is my earrings. Mm. Oh. Earrings? No. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. This is my. <laughs> my book uh -huh. excellent very good excellent good. Ah, good that you react excellent Mary that means that your brain is active excellent let's Disculpa. see mm -hmm. no no se preocupe Mary de hecho le estoy dando el, el mérito de que significa que su cerebro se está activado porque ligerito reaccionó so don't worry thank you Let's see, William, your sentence using this. These are my books. This one, William, this. This. Mm -hmm. This. This. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell this me. This is, this is my coffee. Right, excellent, very really good. Good that you have coffee. <laughs> coffee. Excellent, very really good. Let's check somebody else. Roberto, your sentence with this. This is my car. Buenas noches. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> good evening. Hello there. This All is right. my car. Ah, excellent, very really good. Thank you, Roberto. You're using singular, that's great. Let's see, Yanira, your sentence. This is my pencil. Excellent. Pretty good, great. Let's go with Karen. Let's see, Karen Jimenez. This is my flower. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Carlos Guevara. This or this? This. This. This is my phone. All right, excellent, very good. Let's have Oscar Carranza. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm the love and my daughter. I'm playing. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, I can hear that. Do not worry. Okay. Um, my sentence is this in my car. Um, these are my car or this is no, my car? This is my car. Very really good. Thank you, Oscar. Let's see, Monica. Please. I, I, I. I, this is my van. There are my dog. All right, excellent. This is my my what? Repeat again. This is my my van vans come vans. Uh, cartera. This is my ah bag. Bag. Uh huh. And they are my dog. Okay. These are my dogs. All right. Yes. Whoa, good that you have both. Excellent. Thank you, Monica. Ah, uh, everyone, just for you to know, Monica is new, so you can give her the welcome when participating with her. All right. Let's go with, let me check, Aníbal Galicia. Yes, hi. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me your sentence using this.
Uh, this is my pencil. Uh -huh, all right, excellent, thank you. Alejandro, give me one example using this. Good evening, hello there. Tell this me is, one. Uh -huh. this, this is my son, Lemuel Contreras. All right, excellent, good. You're using a human being. Estamos utilizando humanos, excellent. Very good, Alejandro. All right, everyone. Now let's check number two. Create one sentence using this. And this is my example. These are my agendas or diaries or journals. Okay, journals. It means the same. So you can create yours. Finish, Miss. Great, William. Excellent. These are my shoes. Oh, great, great. You're sharing your sentence. These are my, but William, I don't know, but I remember that that was yesterday's sentence, right? No puede ser la que me dijo ayer, también. No, no. Yeah, I remember, yo recuerdo. <laughs> All right, William, it's okay. No. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, William. No fue esa. Vaya, pues, le creo. Robert, okay. All right, uh -huh, Robert, tell me yours. These are my socks. Mm -hmm. That's correct, my friend. Very good. Let's go in. Mary. Your microphone, Mary. Repeat, teacher, please. Number two. Your sentence with number two. Sentence number two, create example. Uh -huh, your uh, example. This, 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 this. Example. Yeah, your example. Your example, these are. Um, my pencil. No, this are my. Let's see, Mary. What are these? What are these? Let me see if you see. Uh -huh. this, are, this, are, this are my earrings. Excellent. Very good, Mary. Very good. Let's go with Monica. Let's check Monica yours. These are my shoes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's great. Um, let me check Emilio. Your sentence using this. Okay. This is our mar is this are case. This are my case. And this, this, let's see, Emilio. Utilizamos this cuando ah. solo es una cosa. Y lo utilizamos con el verb to be in singular. In singular is. Okay. Uh -huh. No puede ir this con are. Y okay. este otro demonstrative es this. Y este sí puede ir con are porque nos referimos a más de una cosa. A plural, all right? Ok, sí. Yes. All right, great. The, this. Oh, ok. This is a. Intente, intente, no quiero que se quede sin okay. intentar. Okay. Yes. okay. This is our my 
this is our my this is our no se puede porque me está diciendo our, me está diciendo dos verbos al this mismo is, this is our no se puede solo puede ir this are or uh -huh. this is Uh, this is our my this is my my cume cume teacher. Okay. No se preocupe, Emilio. Okay. Lo que sí quiero okay. que le quede eh, bien específico es que no puede decir esto. Lo que voy a escribir ahorita, usted ni nadie en esta clase puede decir. This is our no se puede, eso no existe. En ninguna parte del mundo lo va a escuchar. This is our, uh -huh. Eso no existe, mi ¿ok? Por eso lo estoy escribiendo, porque escuché que, que me dijeron okay. eso por ahí. Entonces, eso no se puede. Sí puede decir, this is, o, this are. This are, this is, así va. Uh -huh. Exactly. This is, y they are, this they are. are. Ajá, exactly, Emilio, excelente, very good. Y, y esta solo lo pueden utilizar con más de un objeto, plural, plural, ¿ok? En okay. this is lo utilizamos para un objeto, singular. Es, es singular. Ajá. Puede ser para un objeto o una persona o animal, cualquier cosa. Pero el punto es que no puede ser más de eh. una cuando utilizamos this is. All right, with that being said, thank okay. you, Emilio. Let's okay. go with, I will have, no, no, no se preocupe, no se preocupe, solo que sí necesito que preste más atención a esto, porque esto es como la base de todo lo del idioma que vamos a desarrollar, ¿ok? El verb to be tiene que estar bien clarito, mis queridos estudiantes, mis queridos estudiantes. Por eso les dije desde la primera clase que si ustedes tienen una duda, con toda confianza pueden preguntarme si en el momento por X, Y razón yo no me acuerdo o se me ha escapado el significado o la estructura de algo. No se preocupen que la siguiente clase lo van a tener o la explicación de algo. Pero no quiero que se queden con ese concern, con esa duda, con esa preocupación de que no pueden manejar algo. Porque este es el momento en el que ustedes pueden hacer. Right? Okay. Y por eso los pongo a practicar. Let's see. Angela Rosario, tell me your sentence. Good night. Good evening, Angela. These are my flowers. Excellent. Very good. Simple as that. Let's go with Alejandro. Teacher, this, this right dates are beautiful. This, this, ¿qué? This right dates are beautiful. All right, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let's go with Janina. This are A's. All right. Excellent. These are these are eyes. All right, eyes. The ojos or all right. Excellent. Ready? Good. All right, everyone. Just for check, just to check up this. Using this or this in questions, you need this structure, right? We saw this yesterday, and I believe that you already know this. Remember, please remember that when uh, starting a sentence, my verb to be is going to be at the beginning, okay? These are my guiding examples. Number one, is this your backpack? Are these your books? Now, let's practice. I will have Carla Hernandez, please read the instructions. Instruction, work individually. Correct one question using this. Correct one question using this. 
Excellent, thank you. All right, everyone, let's work on it. All right, Monica, you have your examples. Tell me. My example is, this is your car. Is this your car? Is this your car? Mm -hmm. Yes. What about this? Do you have the other one, this? One moment. All right, excellent. Let's see, Mary, your examples. My example A is, is this your house? Mm -hmm. are, are this your, are this your, are this your flowers? All right, excellent, very good, good. Let's see, Mr. Galicia, tell me. Uh, for this, uh, is this your homework? Mm -hmm. uh, for this, uh, are these your clothes? All right, excellent, very really good. William, let's see, William. Is this your home? Mm -hmm. Are these your kids? Are these your what? Kids. Keys. Kids. Mm, ¿Quiere decir niños o llaves? Niños. Ah, children. Oh, hijos. Children. Ah, yeah, oh. children. Okay. Are these your children? Are these your, are these your children? Yes. Are these your children? Okay. Thank you, Miss. Good. You're using new vocabulary. Let's go with Monica. Let's see, Monica. My, my example is uh, you say this. This these are your keys. Are these your keys? These are your keys. Keys. Okay. Ok, Monica, mire, le voy, a, le voy a explicar algo porque es cierto, usted no estuvo en la clase pasada. Sí. Cuando hacemos questions, utilizamos el verb to be at the beginning. Y luego va el this or this. Ok, cambia la estructura. Si se fija usted en estas oraciones, yo comienzo con el verb to be. All right. Entonces, sus oraciones están bien, pero en forma de pregunta, cambia. Si yo tenía, these are your books, como un statement, como algo real, ahora voy a preguntar, are these your books? All right, let's see. Ajá, Monique. Are your, uh, are these your keys? Mm -hmm. Excellent, are these your keys? Very good. Let's go with Aníbal. I see that you are raising your hand again. No, it is still uh, rising. Ah, all right, don't worry. Let's go with Roberto. Let's see, Roberto, what you have. Question. This, this, uh, call person or objects? Um, example, can... example huh? is this my girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Right. Are are this my excuse? Are this my pants? All right, excellent. Yes, and yes, Roberto, you can use it for 
people, animals, objects. Yes, you can use it. It's correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go with Janita. Is this your CD player? Mm -hmm. Are these your blouses? No sé si así se mencionan. Yeah, sí. blouses, blouses, blouses. Mm -hmm. Sí. Mm -hmm. All right, eh? Yes. Eh, si fueran camisas, es t-shirts. Ajá. They are different. Thank you, Janira. Carla de Hernández. Sería, is this your dog? Mm -hmm. Are these your tablets? Excellent, very good. Let's see, Alejandro, what you got? This is your red motorcycle. Is this? No está bien así, teacher. Repita de nuevo. Repeat again. This is your red motorcycle. Uh -huh. Vaya, veamos el... Si me estuviera dando oraciones, estaría perfecto. Pero como estamos en questions, ¿qué tiene que ir primero? Sería el verbo entonces. Uh -huh. Exactly. Is this... Is this your red motorcycle? Motorcycle. Motorcycle, motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Excellent, yes. Okay, thank you. One with R. Oh, come. And your R. other example, uh -huh. using R. R, this is... No, no tengo todavía, teacher. Ya lo voy a... Uh, uh, okay, yes. okay don't worry. Excellent. Let's go with Carlos Guevara. Is this my computer? Mm -hmm. Are this my photograph? Excellent, very really good. That's correct. Gladys Escobar. Yeah. Are this your skate? Mm -hmm. What about the is? Do you have one with is? Um, is it your my car? Is this my car? Okay. Is this my car? Remember, you need to change. If you're talking about you or asking about you, you must change a possessive adjective. Let's see, Oscar Carranza. Okay. Is, is this your pencil? Mm -hmm. Are these my apples? All right, excellent, pretty good. Let's go with Ruben Pérez. Thanks. Um, my example is, is this your cup? Are these your coins? All right, excellent, very good job. There you have it. And last but not least, Karen, tell me your questions. Uh -huh, Karen. Your mic. Is this my glass? Mm -hmm. Are they your papers? Are these your papers? Excellent, Karen, very good. That's correct, indeed. Thank you. All right, everyone, now that you have done this, let's just recall double H words, okay? If we have time, we're going to practice with this. Uh -huh, Alejandro. Suelto la mía. Ah, let's see, let's see. Are this your cell phone? Are this your cell phones? Sí. Yes. 
Excellent. Very good. Alejandro, that's correct, my friend. Thank you, you Miss. All right. It's good. My dear students, do you have any questions about the use of these and this in questions? Is everything clear? No questions, no doubts? All right. Alejandro, I see that you have your raised hand. Do you have a question? Eh, esto es lo que dio ayer, teacher. Sí, sí, yes. Estoy haciendo un recalling. Estoy viendo si todavía recordamos o sabemos cómo utilizar. Who is your sister? Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who's your sister? All right. Now, listen. These are the guiding examples. But right now, uh, we are going to move along with this. Let's move forward because we saw this yesterday. So let's see. We have prepositions. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. You have this image in here. Let's pay attention to the image. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Right? Copy this vocabulary on your notebook, please. If you don't have it, copy. Right now, just copy the vocabulary and then we are going to develop the topic. You have a question, Alejandro? Copy the No, es que veo que tiene la mano levantada. <laughs> Arriba. No, esa fue de la vez pasada, teacher. Ah, ok. Ok, no sé no. Ah, ya la bajé, ya la bajé. <risa> <risa> y dije, tiene questions, tiene questions. Hay que responderles. Let me know when you're finished. Finish. Excellent, Roberto. Miss, Miss. Uh huh. I have a question. Uh huh, Carlos. Por interés y, y cultura general, uh -huh. eh, ¿cuál es la diferencia al momento de utilizar eh, la palabra excuse me y apologize? Hmm. Apologize, it's when you are being formal. It's like a formal way. It's una manera más formal. I apologize for what I've done. Me disculpo por lo que hice. I apologize for that. And usually, excuse me, we use it to ask something. Like, Si alguien está hablando muy rápido y usted no entendió, puede decir, excuse me. Can you repeat that again? Entonces, es una manera más informal. Ok, Carlos. Thanks. Gracias. All right. Excellent. Very good. Fíjense que en inglés, no sé si con este grupo ya lo había dicho. Si no, lo, lo voy a decir de nuevo. En inglés es, es tan bonito el idioma, sin embargo a veces puede confundirnos un poquito porque tenemos bastantes maneras de decir algo, ¿verdad? Y, es, y depende del contexto en el que nos estemos desarrollando para utilizar algo. 
Así que eh, siempre tenemos que preguntar. En este caso pueden preguntar o pueden investigar los significados de algunas palabras y cómo se, cuál es la diferencia entre ambas y los contextos en los que se utilizan. Porque a veces no es tanto el significado que varía, porque por ejemplo en esas que mencionó Carlos también tenemos pardon. Pardon. Cuando ustedes, en español ustedes dicen discúlpame, perdón. Entonces en inglés también tenemos pardon me. Pardon me. Entonces tenemos tres diferentes maneras de decir lo mismo. All right? So it's, it's good that you ask. All right, my dear students. Let's see. Let's practice the vocabulary. Let's start with Roberto. Okay, Roberto, tell me the vocabulary. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Excellent. No problems, no mistakes with the pronunciation. Excellent. Let's go with Karen. In, in the front of, begging, o, next to, under. All right, excellent, Karen. Repeat after me, behind. Behind, 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 behind. Uh -huh. behind. Uh -huh. Exactly, very good. In this one, we don't have the de, so you don't need to pronounce it, everyone. Just in front of, in front of. Let's go with Carlos Guevara. Tell me the vocabulary, please. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Excellent, very good. William, tell me the vocabulary, please. In, in front of, being, on, next to, under. All right. Beijing. I'm sorry. Beijing. Repeat after me. Behind. Behind. Mm -hmm. Behind. Behind. Excellent. Behind. Very good. Very good. Let's go Thank with you, Mary. Mary Parada. Okay. Repeat. Mm -hmm. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Excellent, very good. Janira Velázquez. In, in front of, begin, on, next to, under. All right, Janira, repeat after me. Behind. Behind. Three times. <laughs> Tres veces, three times. Behind. 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 Excellent. There you have it. Thank you very much. Carla de Hernandez. Welcome. Tell me the vocabulary. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Excellent. Thank you. Emilio, tell me the vocabulary. In, in front of, behind, on next to under. Excellent. Very good. Monica, tell me the vocabulary. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Excellent. Very good. Oscar Carranza, tell me the vocabulary. Okay. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Excellent, thank you. Alejandro Contreras, tell me the vocabulary. In, in front of. Ale. Eh, sigo, voy, voy a empezar, teacher. In, yes. in front of, behind, one. Next to under. Right? This one is on. Right? On. on. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Roberto, I saw that you raised your hand. Yes, I do. Is this correct? 
translate names. It is correct what? Is this correct? Translate, translate, traducir, ah, translate. traducir nombres, nombres ah. propios. Translate names. Mm. It's correct. Yes, you can do it. Not always, but you can do it sometimes. It is, that's not problem. Sometimes. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes. It's going to depend on what. Legalmente no, verdad? <laughs> Legally no, but you shouldn't. But I mean, remember that when you're learning, you can translate some things for you to be easier to learn something. Pero, digamos, si alguien se molesta, eh, digamos, le digan el nombre en inglés, le, alguien le podría contestar y estaría correcto decir, mi nombre no es tal, mi nombre es tal. En cualquier parte, en cualquier idioma. Yes, yes. Just remember that you need to be polite. Necesitamos ser amable. No nos podemos enojar por todo. <laughs> for example, hey. uh, por ejemplo, mi nombre, Phoebe, in English is Phoebe. Phoebe. Y si ustedes ya habrán notado, hay bastantes programas hoy en día en inglés en los que sale ese nombre, Phoebe. Great, equal, equal. Great, ah, equal. Equal, uh -huh, exactly. Equal, uh, uh, correct. Uh, other names, no equal, right. Uh, it's not equal, exactly. For example, your name, Robert. Robert. I, I, uh -huh, I could say Robert. Charles. Uh -huh, exactly. There you have it. But if you don't like it, it's okay. <laughs> All right. If you don't right. like it, we don't need to change it. Okay. It's going to depend. Um, a veces también no queremos cambiar. Por ejemplo, El Salvador, no vamos a decir eh, The El Salvador. No le decimos The El Salvador. The El Salvador. Tampoco okay. decimos The Savior. The Savior significa El Salvador pero no es el nombre del país, no se puede traducir. Entonces decimos El Salvador. Lo que sucede es que en el nombre, el, el es nombre y no artículo. There you have it. Now you see, that's the difference between grammatical things and speaking. Sometimes we can see the grammar, but it's going to be difficult to express it. Right? Thank you. All right, Roberto. Thank you for your question. Let's see, let's check somebody else. Rubén Pérez, tell me. The vocabulary, please. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Francisco Fernandez. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Francisco, are you there? All right, Jamilet Torres, tell me the vocabulary, please. In, in front of, Virgin, on, next to, under. Excellent, repeat after me, Jamilet, behind. Behind. Right? Behind, behind. Excellent, behind, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, everyone, let's just check this one more time. Pay attention. In, in front of, behind, behind, on, next to, under. You have the images in here. For example, the question, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. Let's go with number two in front of. Let's see, Roberto, where are the keys? We are the keys. The keys are in the box. Use in front of. The keys are in front of of the box in front of, of the box excellent very good janina use behind where are the keys janina they they are 
in behind the box. All right. And now listen. In this one, I'm going, when using behind, I want to use in nor the. Okay. I can use the keys are behind the box. All right. The keys okay. are behind. There you have it. Alejandro, use on. Where are the keys, Alejandro? Teacher, eh, ahí sí, sí me puede retroalimentar porque he estado leyendo, pero no lo entendí. Okay. On, look at the picture, Alejandro. Where are the keys? Sí, sí, yes. One is, is, está por encima. Encima, right. Next to? Está a la par. Uh -huh. Under? Está bajo. Uh -huh. Behind? Está atrás. Uh -huh. In front of? Está enfrente. Uh -huh. In? Está dentro. Exactly. So, if somebody asks you, Alejandro, where are the keys and you want to use on, you will say, the keys are on the box. Ah, okay. Entonces, the keys are on the box. Excellent. Very good. Where the in sería on. Exactly. There you have it. Pero mi, el de, my indefinite article, Mi artículo siempre lo voy a dejar el de, right? Solo, the keys, cambiaría, solo cambiaría la preposición. Exactly, there you have it. We only change the preposition. Excellent. Uh, preposition. Let's go with William. Use next to William. William, where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. Excellent, bravo, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Let's go with Aníbal. Use under Aníbal. Where are the keys, Aníbal? The keys are under the box. Excellent. Very good. Gladys, use in front of. Gladys, where are the keys? What? <laughs> where are the keys, Gladys? Um, the keys are on the um, box. In front of? Um, the, they, the keys are on the um, box. Okay, repeat that again, repeat again. The keys are? The keys are? In front of? In front of? The box. The box. Excellent. Thank you, Gladys. Monica, use behind. Monica, where are the keys? The keys behind the box. All right. No se le olvide el verbo. The keys, the keys are... are behind the box. Excellent. Very good. Mary, use on. Mary, where are the keys? The keys are on the box. Excellent. Very good. Karen, where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. Excellent. Very good, Karen. Very good. Let's go with Carlos Guevara. Where are the keys, Carlos? The keys are under the box. Excellent. All right, everyone. Is it clear the use of prepositions? Is it clear? No questions, no doubts? No question, teacher. Excellent, thank you, Mary, for answering. All right, now that you don't have questions and you know the topic, let's work on the exercises, right? Number one, the books are in the back, in the book bag, right? The books are in the book bag. Let's complete 
two, three, four, five, and six, please. Finish, teacher. Excellent, Marie. Very good. One more minute. Finish. Excellent, Roberto. Finish. Excellent, very good. <clears throat> Yo ya lo copié, teacher, pero estoy esperando la explicación. Ah, you need to work in this one. Esto es para ustedes, esta es su práctica. La, uh -huh. la explanation was in here. Sí. With the images. Now, let's practice. Entonces, eh, se podría decir que la dos es DVD player in y eh, in from, in from of. Mm, let's see. The DVD player, look at me, Alejandro, is. Ah, let's see. Finish. Excellent, very good. Let's see. Ruben Perez, what do you have for number two? The DVD player is? The DVD player is in front of the TV. Mm, let's see. Okay, thank you, Ruben. Somebody else, Monica, what do you have for number two? Monica? The, uh, sample two, uh, two? Yeah, the, number two. Uh, the DVD player is next to the TV. Excellent, very good. Next to the TV, excellent. Very good. If you notice, you don't have in front the TV. You have it next to, right? Next to. 
Let's go, Carlos Guevara, number three. The map is under, no, perdón. The yes, map yes. is, es que no, 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 no logro entender si es una, o sea, ah, este, este es un periódico, sí. ajá, es un periódico y el otro es un mapa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces sería, bueno, the map is under, no, no, no logro entender, pero lo voy a poner así, the map is under the newspaper. It is correct, Carlos. Believe in yourself. Creen usted mismo. It is correct. Perdón, es que no. Ya me estoy algo choco. Ya no, no alcanzo a ver bien qué, qué dibujo. <laughs> no, but it's correct. The newspaper, it's above. So you have the map under the newspaper. Very good. Let's go with Oscar Carranza, number four. That she is behind the table. All right, let's see. Behind the desk. The desk. All right, <laughs> yeah. A table is a different one. The desk is the one that we use yes. to have uh, the computer and all those things. Excellent, Oscar, very I good. Yeah, it's different. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Aníbal, number five. The wallet is on the purse. Let's see. Very good. It's on the purse. And last but not least, Mary Parada. Um, number, number six. six. The cell phone is in front of address book. Excellent. But if you notice this in, pl in plural, addresses book. Addresses book. Excellent. Very really good. Thank you. All right, everyone, there you have it. This is useful for you, all right? Now, now that you work on the exercises, now that you already have the guiding examples, let's get the practice time. Instructions, I will have, William, please read the instructions. Practice time. Instructions. One, work individually. Two, create one sentence using any object you want. Mm -hmm. Three, you need to system. Exactly. You need to use prepositions, all right? Let's work on it, please. For example, my cell phone is on my desk. My computer is in front of me. All right, let's work. Aha, Roberto. Number two, create on sensor. Create one sentence using any object or person. Uh -huh. For example, uh, my sister is behind behind to my bro my brother or, or my or my mother. Behind my mother. Behind my mother, my uh, uh, repeat my. My sister is under my brother. Mm, under, remember that under is this action. Under, so, tras. Under, ah, behind. Ah, bajo, bajo. No, under, ah, es abajo. Behind. Tras, be, behind. Behind. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. Repeat. My sister is behind my mother. Yes, it's correct. Por, Very good. Por ejemplo, en un, en un, en un salón, en un, en un auditorio. Un... Exactly. Muy bien, Roberto. Muy bueno, porque usted está poniendo su propio contexto. That's excellent. Very good. Y eso es algo que me cuesta mucho lograr a veces con, con algunos estudiantes o a veces conmigo misma. Poner el contexto 
para hacer mi oración y que suene bien, dependiendo de mi contexto. Right? Very good, Roberto. Excelente. Y en yes, lo que dijo Roberto es cierto, pueden utilizarlos también para personas, para human beings. Right? Have you finished? Finished this year. Okay, let's see. Mary, tell me your sentence. My, my example is, my son is the next two. My son is next to? Next to. Uh -huh, next to quien? Um, my son mm -hmm. um, acuérdense que para, para next to necesitan algo por ejemplo my son is next to my mother or my son is next to my, my bed ver, para decirlo a mi lado a la par mía it's next to me next to me my son is next to me excellent very really good Mary William. My example use preposition is the birds are in the jaula. In the cave. In the cave. The cave. Uh -huh. The cave. Um, let's see. In the cave. Uh -huh, exactly. Yeah, it's correct. It's correct, in the cave. Excellent. Very good, William. Ya lo anoté aquí, Thank porque you, no va a pasar mañana. <laughs> let's see, um, let's go with <laughs> Monica. My dog is next to me. Excellent, that's so cute, very good. And I will, uh -huh, Carla de Hernández, excellent. My example, the cell phone in front of my mother. The cell phone is in front of. Is in front of. Excellent. Very good. All right, Carla. Thank you. All right, everyone. Now listen. I have the names of the people who has participated in today's class in this last part. Tomorrow, the other ones are going to participate. If you didn't participate today, you will participate tomorrow. All right, so make sure to have your sentence already for tomorrow's class. All right, everyone, it was a pleasure to have you in the class. Thank you so much for attending and see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye. 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 Nice to meet Good you. Night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye, Miss. Bye bye. God bless you. Thank Good you. Night. Same for you. Thank you. Good night to all.